take this off. I'm gonna show my little brush. You feel me? Hey, Queen of Crew, welcome back to the Queendom. It's your girl Nini, and today I'm giving you guys another bomb wig review. Now, this one is gonna be a little bit tricky because I bought this braided wig a while ago, and what had happened was I saw some people review it and I just heard that the wig was trash. Now, this is a braided wig, and when I heard that it was trash, honestly, I was so discouraged, y'all. I was like, I just feel like I wasted my money. I don't even feel like breaking this wig out of the package, and so I didn't. Like, it's been a month and months and months I got this wig when it first came out, and I've seen, like, about five or six people wearing it, and they just said that it was horrible, but... I still have hope because this is something that literally happens to all of us. We get a wig, we hear that it's trash, and then we're just like, dang, that was what I was going to wear, you know, for this trip or for this occasion. So what I'm going to do is to try my best to put a remix on this braided wig and make it look popping. So guys, what I need you to let me what I need you guys to do <laughs> So guys, what I need you guys to do is watch me freak this wig because I'm sure you have wigs that are like this that need a little bit of love and attention and I'm going to show you how to do it and then I want you to go in the comments and let me know if I did that thing or if it's still a little like trash. Okay, so I'm not even going to hold y'all anymore. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you join the queendom and of course you guys know my earrings are from my store, anothercleantreasure.com. So if you're feeling them, go to the description, click the link and get you a pair. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. It smells like peppermint. This smells like eucalyptus, something like that. Okay, guys, so this is the unit. And yes, it's giving me carpet vibes. This is a braided, y'all. I just realized how thin this freaking unit is. This is a shame for God. Anyways, this is a braided unit, okay? It's supposed to be like... The lemonade braid style but y'all look how thin this is all the braids you get like i could i could grip this in my hand and my fist they know that this need to be thicker so this is what it looks like on the stock card look how thick that looks and this is what you get this is thin but i might be able to use the thinness to my advantage because then it won't be like super too much on my head you know what i'm saying like too much hair so it is a lace front wig. You're seeing a little bit of, it's giving me carpet vibes, but not as bad as the Isis, I think it was Isis Red Carpet or Main Concept Jessica that I did. Y'all, that was straight carpet. Like these little spaces of scalp that you can see, you could not see this in that wig. If you guys want to see that wig, I will link it at the end for you guys. That was a complete disaster. Okay, that, I don't, mm -mm, that wig was not it, honey. That was not it. I've had way better braided wigs than that. But this one, I do feel like I could freak. So, this is in the color MLF. Oh, I'm sorry. This is in the color TT1B slash 27. That's where the color comes into. And it's supposed to be a lemonade braid style. The color comes in the back and on the sides. In the cap, it is a lace front. You get two combs on the side, one in the back, and you get adjustable straps. So, guys, I'm going to cut the lace and show you guys exactly how you can transfer this wig. Say a quick prayer for me, girl, because I'm, I'm going to need to go in prayer about this one. I forgot to bring my anointing oil out, but I'm going to have to go into prayer for this one because, girl, I don't know. Okay, so, yeah, we're just going to try our best. Y'all, if I can't get it, I'm sorry. We just going to, I haven't practiced this. This is just off the fly, so we're just going to see.
y'all. So this is the final look of this unit. So this is by Bobby Boss. This is the style Simone. And let I'm going to read you guys the details, but I honestly, these details, girl. Anyways, so this is a, this is a lace front unit. And y'all, this is what it looks on the stock card. I had to cut them baby hairs because that was ugly. That was ugly. So it's supposed to be a realistic braided look <laughs> with natural natural baby hairs that I cut off because I didn't like them. I don't like when braided wigs baby hairs are like that that braided hair that Conecalon texture. I don't I don't like this braid right here either. I'm gonna take this off. I mean this thing right here either. I don't like when um, baby hairs on braided wigs are so like plastic. I feel like they should match our texture hair a little bit because fake baby hairs on braid. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Anyways, it comes with a 13 by 7 lace um, frontal area with invisible braids and um, flex fit cap Insta braid style Simone. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and just put my cons on the table. Then we'll talk about what I did and um, did it, does it look any better? So guys, the first thing I don't like, the realistic thing, this is not realistic. Um, I was shocked by the thinness of the wig. As I showed you guys, the hair is like, it's not a lot of hair. It just looks so thick and full on this picture, especially this one. Maybe it's just me, but I thought there was going to be a lot more hair, okay? Um, the 13 by 7, I guess, but y'all, this wig needs a lot of tweaking. Now, I really wish I would have had my... Oh, I'm messing up my makeup. I really wish I would have had my concealer so I could really go in those parts, but I did not have it today. Unfortunately, I ran out and I do not have my concealer, so I did the best I could with the parting area, adding some foundation and a little bit... Um, of powder but um some concealer really would have helped open that up some more now the 13 by 7 that really doesn't do anything for me um i did add foundation to it but i mean yeah it just didn't really do anything for me now another con you guys is i know y'all like all these cons girl over here you kind of have like the cardi b lace front over the ear type thing because this lace like in order to tuck it from your ear you're gonna have to push the wig back and then that's just gonna make it like Humpy, like that's the cap right there. So you have to wear it over your ear. Now, this could be depending on the size of your head, but honestly, y'all know I have a huge head. And the fact that I still have to like make sure it's over the ear just so it'll lay flat all the way around is very shocking. One thing I will say that I do like about this braided wig is that the cap is flat. Like it's laying really flat. You don't get a lot of humpiness, but y'all don't mind my BBs back here, but you, you, honey, I just, uh. anyways, um, <laughs> the cat size is big hair friendly, that's another thing that I do like about this unit, it's not tight, it's almost a little bit too big, but rather you be too big than be too small, so I did add my own hair jewelry, I added some of these spirals, some of these clasps, and some of these hooks, um, for the most part, if you just need something quick and easy, you don't want to get your hair done, you're like me, you're tender-headed, and whatever, this is an okay style if you're paying a cheap price. I don't exactly remember off the top of my head how much this retails for, but by now it's probably on clearance because it might not be a whole bunch of people buying it. So if you can get it for cheap um, and then you don't mind freaking it like I did or a little bit more, then sure, why not? But if you really need a dependable braid wig for something you really want to look nice like you're going on a vacation you're going on a cruise get something else girl get something else okay i just had already purchased this unit before i realized what it was going to be looking like and so i decided to try to freak it so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try to make this thing look like something i did use my soft and beautiful botanicals sculpting foam i don't even know if this is the right thing you're supposed to use i decided to try it to kind of lay down the flyaways on the braids, which did help. I also used my own baby hairs. And I'm trying to push it back. 
So you can see I also used my own baby hairs, which made it look so much better. I just cut off those baby hairs completely, period, from the wig because I didn't like them. Now up here in this little parting space, the baby hairs are, were in the parting space, y'all. I meant to tell y'all that. That was weird. So when I cut it, it's like little fuzzies right there. Girl, I don't know, but the baby hairs was in the parting space, girl. But anyways, we got that together, and I think for the most part, we did a little something. It looks a lot better. So I'm going to give you guys a 360. Make sure you guys comment below and let me know what you think about Simone. Do you think that the things that I did to tweak it helped? Do you think that you could use it on wigs, maybe braided wigs that you don't love, but you want to use, it, make it work for what you paid for because you can't return it? definitely comment below and talk to me down below love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye why did i say it like that bye <laughs> bye y'all